Every action you take in Sublime Text is done via a command. Whether you are creating whole new files, editing those files, creating windows, changing window layouts, executing build systems, everything you do is done via a command. Sometimes you want to take multiple commands all at the same time in order to make your life a little bit easier. And Sublime allows this via the use of macros, but macros can't be used to record all commands, only some of them. Now in the past, you needed to use a plugin in order to get the functionality required to execute any arbitrary command, but now it's built directly into the Sublime Text 4 core, and that's why today we're talking about the chain command. Hey, hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video where we're going to be talking about a brand new command in Sublime Text 4, the chain command. The chain command allows you to execute as many commands as you might like in response to a key press, a menu entry, or even a command palette item. And this is very similar as you might expect to macros in Sublime Text, except that not all commands can be used in a macro, but any command can be used by the chain command. Now, does this sound familiar? That's because we've talked about this in a previous video on the chain of command and multi-command packages, two packages that do the same thing as what we're talking about here today, providing a command in Sublime Text that allows you to execute multiple commands at once. In Sublime Text 4, these packages are no longer necessary because it's built directly into the core, but if you're still using Sublime Text 3, this can be a great alternative for what we're going to be seeing here in the video today. And here are the examples for that video. Now, both of these examples do the exact same thing, which is duplicate the current file into a brand new file tab in a brand new window so that you can make some modifications to the file. What's different about the two of them is that they were provided by a different plugins. And in particular, the way that you specify the list of commands that each key binding should carry out is slightly different. The first one is the chain of command example. And in this one, the list of commands is one array per command with the first item in each subarray being the name of the command and the second item, if any, being the argument dictionary. Whereas in the multi-command example, the exact same commands and arguments are used, but in this case, the list of commands is actually a list of command objects, as you might see them, for example, inside of some key binding file. Historically, which one of these two packages you chose depends largely on what way you might actually want to specify your key bindings. But either way, pressing one of the keys will carry out the sequence of actions and we have a duplicate of the file. Now, macros are another way to execute multiple commands at once. But as we've talked about in a previous video on the channel, you can't use any command in a macro, only commands that modify the contents of a buffer. So for this particular example, you wouldn't be able to use a macro and you would need to rely on the packages we're talking about here or now in Sublime Text for the chain command instead. But this command would be very useful for places where you might want to use macros as well. Now we're almost done with the video, we haven't actually talked about the command that we're here to talk about, and that is the chain command. This is built into Sublime Text 4. It is exactly identical to both the chain of command and multi-command packages. It's just built directly into the core, so you don't need to install anything in order to use it if you're using Sublime Text 4. And we can see that in these two examples right here. Now, both of these are the same example. And as you can see, the top one is just like chain of command. It specifies two commands as a list of arrays. And the second example is just like the multi-command package. It specifies the same two commands and the same arguments for these commands, but it does it as full objects instead of as smaller arrays. Which one of these you choose is entirely up to you. Whichever one you find easier to enter, easier to look at, easier to read, easier to modify, just whichever one makes your life easier, that's the one that you should use. Now, what we're actually doing in these examples is modifying the key binding, which would normally be used for commenting, which is the keys that we see here, at least on Windows and Linux, anyway. And instead of just toggling a comment, it toggles the comment on the current line and then moves the cursor down. And this can be a real time savings for a lot of different reasons, one of which would be if you wanted to comment some lines and some other lines with a little bit of a gap in between, instead of having to select the text, you can easily just tap the key, it comments lines, it moves down, you can skip over some lines and continue commenting. Life is a lot easier. Both of these key bindings do the exact same thing. Now to be sure you could actually do something like this with a macro instead and for a more complex operation that would probably be a nicer way to go because you can get Sublime to record the operations for you whereas here you need to enter them in manually. On the other hand, for a small simple operation like this, perhaps the chain command is a nicer way to go because it allows you to easily see directly in your key bindings file exactly which operations are being taken. Whereas if you were using a macro, you'd have to go open the macro file. And for something complex, that would be cool for a small thing. 
maybe not so much. And don't forget, you can also use this to execute any commands, even ones that are not ones that would work inside of a macro, which is another reason why you might want to use this instead of a macro. And that's really all I have for this. I hope you find this useful and helpful. Do you have ideas for how you could use this to kick up your editing and some lime text? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'll be live tonight on this very channel if you happen to be watching this on the day that this video drops. And whether I see you there or in next week's video, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.